Okay, guys, uh, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and set up. Uh, I'll show you how to do a male and female. Now, if you've already done this and you know how to do it, then by all means, go on to the next chapter. Uh, but you never know. You may learn something. Uh, it may be not. So I'm going to show you these tools that they give you when you buy one of these uh, crimpers. But this is the uh, for the solar panels. Uh, this is where you can kind of run it in there like that and it comes apart. Okay. Now within each one of these, it's going to take the female apart, or this is the male actually, as you can tell. Uh, you have, this is a rubber that goes into this sleeve here that actually goes into the cap but all this has to go on the wire at a certain way you go like this and then you're going to go ahead and take that one like so with the rubber right here which is real real easy to do but once you start crank, cranking this on to this piece it flares that cage so it becomes waterproof and you also have your seals on this. Now the female is similar. You still have all this here. And this is a different one. This is, you have two sizes of these. What they do is they fit into each other. Just like that. Now... As you can see, this, or this big one goes to the male. This smaller one goes to the female, and it fits right inside that area right there. What I use on this is I use my cable cutters. You want to take off about a quarter of an inch to a half inch on there. And what you're doing is you're just scoring that. Okay, now you can do it with a knife also, but it's just kind of easier this way. Then I set this in the largest one here that does it automatically for me. So that way you get a nice, nice uh, groove. You're not getting any frayed ones. You have where you're going to be clamping that down. When you put these in here to clamp, you want to do it just like this, okay? Because if you look right here, you'll see it has a, uh, a two barrel where what's going to happen is when you cramp down, this is going to flip over on each other. So let's go ahead and let's try one. So I'm going to go ahead and get this set in. What you do is you want to go and set it right like that. Just so when it goes into it, it'll take care of that. Take your cable. Take it to the sheathing. Don't go past your sheathing. You want to take it all the way down until you can squeeze the trigger. You can squeeze the trigger all the way down. And this is what you come up with. Make sure you do a pull test. But if you look at that, that's, that's kind of what you're wanting right there. So now you're going to take this. You're going to hear a click, right like that. Now you're in. You're going to take your... This fits inside, just like that. Then you want to go ahead and go like that. Now you can usually do it by hand, but I do this. And you put this over the gland nut, like so, or anywhere in there. This one goes like this if you need to control the wire. Then all of a sudden, when it's tight, there you go. And you're all set.
Now I'm gonna let's go ahead and do the other side. Take it like that. Just score it a little bit. Sorry if I went out of camera. Uh, but there you have a nice. There you go. Remember to remember to put these on prior. like so that way when you crimp it on you have enough room to do it now if you if you do cut a little long by the way just to let you know this can slide in so you don't want to push on it too much because it'll get them wires all set there we go now if you watch that and there you go having the right tools guys um it's a big deal okay so let's go ahead get this in and you hear it snap get this part And like I said, most of the time you can do this just by hand, but this way you kind of just, it only takes a minute. And there we go. Now we have male and female, just like that. Now if you want to get them loose again, you can use these prongs that go right inside this so that way you can release it like i said having the right tools and so forth guys i'll put them at link in description for you um it, the kit comes with a whole bunch of the mc4 connectors and it will last you years and years <laughs> so now i'll put the links in description for everything i use that way you have everything you need that you see on my videos all right let's go finish this thing up 